I tend to hear some people talk about um how injuries are uh, not Nafi's fault and that uh, you know there's nothing they can do about it. It's just all uh, bad luck. But um no, I think I don't think it's necessarily the case. Certainly, okay, there's some cases such as uh being in a car accident when you're not actually driving the car, or some reckless driver hitting you. Then I'd say it's not really your fault, but. Uh, for some people who get um injured, I think you know it might be down to uh, uh poor recovery. I mean, you know, you, you can't as my coach once said, you can't overtrain. You can only under recover. And um, I think this is the case. In my, um, in my um athletic club. I mean, there's a uh, one guy in my athletic club. I'm not gonna mention his name, but he's watched this. You probably know who he is. Uh, he was running him. He was uh doing a recovery. What Sunday run it was supposed to be an easy day recovery run day for him. Uh, yeah, I think I was pretty sure he was doing a session the previous day. Uh, there was one guy there who was older, a few years older than us, and um, he started going off like a madman in the easy run the Sunday. And uh, you know, I heard they were, they worked their way down to what felt like thirty mile pace before my coach eventually told him to slow down. And this guy gets loads of injuries. He's just he spent seems to spend like half the year out injured. And we ran last summer. He ran what eight fifty one for the three k, uh, fifteen forty one for the five k. And those are good times, but you know, it's not good enough where you should be doing uh five and a half in a mile pace in your easy days. And uh, this is the thing, people um, just, some people seem to think there's something wrong with going out for a long, slow, easy run, or a cover run, and I just think that's ridiculous. Um, I mean, okay, uh, I don't know the, the opinion of most people, but you know, my dad was always against me doing uh, long, slow, easy runs, he's always saying we shouldn't be anything slow in six minute mile pace, you know, it's a run, you shouldn't be able to talk, it should be hard and all that stuff, and uh, you know, and um uh, uh, my brother also, uh, my stepbrother also disagreed with this. Uh, he was, uh, you know, he was giving out to me. F- uh, he's kind of agreeing with my dad, giving out to me about my diet. He was saying I'm eating too many carbs. I need to cut out the carbs. Uh, drastically cut down the carbs. I was eating way too much. And um, he was saying, you know, if if I wasn't a runner, I'd be as fat as a fool. Uh, I don't think that's the case, man. I don't think that's the case. But um, anyway, he used to he uh he was uh separated from his uh wife, and I had a son living in Limerick I think he's must be what seven or eight now and um he had to go down with my dad to Limerick that's where they were living uh and he came back one day and he just walks in the door and he sees me and the first thing he does is says Mark long slow runs won't do you any good and I'm thinking what the hell Jesus you just walk in I just see you and you just say that like what the fuck that's weird I mean uh, what I can tell is um my dad was saying oh Mark's not training properly, he's doing long, slow runs, and it's just not working, and then he just storms in like that, all aggressive, not even, you know, and I also have one coach who's sort of uh, against me doing those long, slow recovery runs, but anyway, so, um, that's the thing, we do these long, slow recovery runs because we don't want to get injured, I mean, you know, I mean, a lot of these people, do. they just train, they don't train long, very long, they don't train that often, maybe like three days a week for like, 20 minutes or something, and you know they're they're doing high intensity interval training the whole time, and uh, you know they might get away with it because they're doing so little of it. I mean, you can't do what like eighty miles a week of uh, interval training, like eleven miles a day or whatever. No, it's just not going to work. Like you know, mar like marathon runners. Do you think a marathon runner, the day say some marathon runner runs a world record, um, the next day they're not going to go out and attempt it again, and they're not going to go out and attempt it again. They're not going to try to do it every every day for the rest of the week. Just keep getting that time down. Because what's going to happen is they're going to go slower and slower. Their time's going to get so and sore. They're going to get more and more sore. And they're going to get injured. They're going to burn out. That, that's what happens. You know, it's all recovery, and um, that, that's the thing. Recovery is very important, and uh, that's why I don't think we should have as much sympathy as we do for guys who get injured. Like a lot of the time, it is their own fault. They're uh, okay. Uh, like you know, maybe they're not doing enough. No, maybe they're going uh too fast in the easy days. Maybe they're not doing enough stretching work. Not foam rolling works so uh i don't know maybe their diet isn't good enough you know diet helps you recover from runs um so comment in the comment section below what you think do you think that people should have um uh, less sympathy if people get injured do you think um it should be a case of people give out some more uh do you think some of those people out there who i hope are in the minority uh, should just cop on and stop giving out to athletes for going for long slow runs when you know that's part of avoiding injury uh improving uh i'd like to know what you think um thanks for watching uh if you watch up to this point very patient and um you know you're free to do what you like whether that be like comment subscribe uh dislike whatever and um i hope you see you another time